This here is an American toad. Now, toads are a very common amphibian, and the chances are you've found some in your life. However, you may have struggled on the identification. To identify whatever toad you've found, you first look at the range. Make sure that the toad you're looking at lives in a similar range. And then if it's in this sort of area, you're gonna have two species of toads possible, either the American toad or the Fowler's toad. To distinguish the American toad from the Fowler's toad, you first look at their spots. You see there they have black spots and they have warts. American toads will have no more than one to two warts in each black spot. However, Fowler's toads have often three or more warts in each spot, and those warts are smaller. Another difference is if you flip them around and look at their belly, American toads have speckled belly or some sort of black markings on their belly, while Fowler's toad generally remains plain. American toads also often have enlarged warts on their tibia or their thigh, while Fowler's toads do not. There are some other really small ways you can tell them apart, but I'm not going to talk about those right now. I just gave you the basic ones and that's really all you need. A trained eye can immediately distinguish a Fowler's toad and an American toad. So with practice, you'll be able to get better at doing that. Now you saw me holding it like this earlier by its legs, by its waist. And that's a good way to hold many a neurons or frogs and toads, is just around that waist uh, with their legs kind of disabled. Um, it doesn't cause any pain to them as long as you're not squeezing hard, just gently, somewhat firmly. It kind of just immobilizes their legs so that they can't jump out of your hand and hurt themselves more by jumping onto the ground. So this is a pretty medium-sized American toad. They get up to four inches and the females get larger than the males. You can see here these bulges behind their eyes are called paratoid glands. When pressure is applied onto those paratoid glands, like when the toad is being eaten or something like that, they release toxins and poisons that taste really bad and are even poisonous. But the American toad specifically is not a very potent species. The American toad, as its name implies, is one of the most common toads in America, mostly the eastern half of America. So if you find a toad, it's likely an American toad, but there are many other species to be found as well. These toads can be found in a lot of different habitats, and that's partly what makes them so common. They can be found in forest, grassland, your backyard, pretty much anywhere. I'm right here near a construction site, actually. Whereas other toads, like the Fowler's toads, tend to have more specific needs on their habitat, I often find them by uh, our river near us. American toads will really eat anything that they can fit in their mouth, and since they grow up to four or five inches, they can eat a lot of different stuff. Worms, crickets, any kind of bugs and beetles that they can fit in their mouth. And they have an interesting eating strategy. Unlike a lot of frogs that lunge out with their tongue and grab the, their prey, they'll actually just stand back and they'll be able to flick their tongue out and grab the prey. So I just found that fascinating because it's a little bit different than a lot of other kinds of frogs. As for their defenses, uh, first one is obviously to hop away, jump away, uh, and I already mentioned the poison glands, but they also do pee on you when you pick them up, and that's a pretty uh, useful technique, especially on humans. You usually drop the toad when it pees on you. I think we've handled this guy enough. I'm gonna let him go now. That's all I have for you guys about the American toad today. I'm probably gonna be doing a lot more videos about the American toad in the future, or other kinds of toads. I might be comparing the Fowler's toad and American toad more. I might show you how to find American toads specifically and other similar videos. If you're interested in those videos, let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. There's an insect that bit my neck literally right as I said that.